Number one is Backlash Hanover, owned by Amy Nicholson of Worcester, Ohio, trained by Jonathan Wingard, Kyle Wader. Number two is Autocrat, owned by the Charter Oak Stable of Aiken, South Carolina, trained and driven by Jimmy Laurent. Number three is Seashaw, owned by the Steiner Stock Farm of Lime, Ohio, trained and driven by Marty Willem. Number four is Satori Hanover, owned by the Sterling Brook Farms, incorporated at Sheldonville, Massachusetts, trained by Jim Artledge Jr., Dallas Miller. The five is Red Hot Message, owned by Scott Rooks of Greenfield, Ohio, trained and driven by Keith Haynes. The six is Sauté T, owned by Wellman, Milhone of Delaware, Ohio, and Todd of Florida, trained and driven by Terry Milhone. And to the outside of the seven is What Club Should I Hit? Home of the Parkview Stables of Pittsburgh, Ohio, trained by Greg Broombaugh, the K-Man, Kane Kaufman, and the Sulky. That's the field for the sixth race. As summons for the sixth race, the first division of the seventh leg of the Dick Buxton Trot, a field of seven, turn and head towards the wings of the starting gate. It's post time. Field in motion. Being sent on their way. They're all fan trotting and firing away from the outside. There goes what club should I hit? Right alongside Sante T. These two toss away in the first turn. Away in third, that is a red hot message. Next in fourth, Otto Kratt got to the outside and driving on in fifth, Satori Hanover. Sixth from the rail, that is Backlash Hanover in seventh and trailing the field. That is She Shaw. As they step around the first turn and over to the opening quarter and up top, off stride went the six, Sante T. And the seven, what club should I hit? Is also off stride as they march by the opening quarter in 28 and 3 fifths. On by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half and up top now with the lead here. On top of the field, that's Satori Hinover driving onto the top here. Red Hot Message is now yielded for a garden spot in two. Sate T to the outside, back down trotting in third. Fourth along the inside, Otto Kratt. Fifth, that is Backlash Hinover who angles off the pylons there. Sixth is Shishan. Seventh in trailing the field, back down trotting. What club should I hit? Around the clubhouse turn they go in front of the paddock and on over to the half. And they reach the half in 58 and 4 fifths. A second panel there at 30 and 1. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Their long journey towards three quarters has begun. And up top, Satori Hanover continues to carve out the fractions here for Dallas, leading it by length and a quarter. Into the inside, a red hot message is trotting in two over the outside of there. Swung up three wide. Backlash Hanover continues to close on the leaders here. As they race towards three quarters, Satori Hanover's being asked for more. Into the inside, a red hot message. Trots into Backlash Hanover, trotting to the outside in third. Three quarters and one, 29 flat. They'll trot the final turn and head for home. And Satori Hanover and Dallas is still sitting chilly there with a whip over his shoulder, leading it by a length and a half. Or to the outside, Backlash Hanover in two along the inside. Red Hot Message in third. Autocrat has swung three high. Shishan fourth as they drive through Power Alley. On top, Satori Hanover the lead tier. Or to the outside, Autocrat is closing. Shisha up the inside, but this is Satori Hanover in front. Going to be very tight there for a second between the three Seashaw and the two Autocrat. The time of the mile is 1.59 and two-fifths Satori Hanover. We're home a winner at 1.59 and two-fifths. Here's the four Satori Hanover. A three-year-old daughter Lindy Lane out of a Garland Lobel mare. So's Ninja. Home by the Sterling Brook Farms Incorporated of Sheltonville, Massachusetts. Trained by Jim Artledge Jr. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Dallas Miller. In for Dallas, that's three wins on this evening's card, giving him a driving triple. The four Satori Hanover. Home a winner at 159, two fans. They're only pick three, three of three, 164 is worth $34.40.